Hello, I'm Gordon O'Hara, a paramedic with Unified Fire Authority of Greater Salt Lake. This is Push to Survive's AED 101. We all know what an AED is. We see them every day in various places. We encounter AEDs in lots of places, like office buildings, hotels, store retailers, just about anywhere really. It's important to make note of these when you see them. If you have an AED near your workplace or places you frequently visit, it's important to take a minute to note not only the location, but also how to access the device. Finding an AED during an emergency can be made easier by looking for signage or utilizing smart device apps that are available for a variety of devices. And many communities have set up special mapping apps to make locating AEDs easier. Check the other resource section of the Push to Survive website for more information. If you witness a person collapse, perform the three C's. Check, call, compress. Once compressions are underway, send another bystander retrieve the nearest AED. Once the AED has arrived on scene, allow that bystander to begin operating the device. The great news is, modern AEDs will give you a step-by-step -step directions, often in a pleasing baritone voice. All AEDs will require you to bear the patient's chest. Put the pads on and turn the device on. Obviously, it will take time and coordination to remove an article of clothing while keeping pauses in chest compressions to a minimum. Utilizing a countdown helps with this. If the operator of the AED cannot work the device for some reason, chest compressions are far more important at this point than the AED. Once the device is connected to the patient and powered on, follow the voice prompts. There will be times when the AED voice will instruct you to stop CPR. This is a necessary pause so the machine can analyze the patient and their heart's activity. This pause is a great time to recruit other rescuers and to switch compressors if you're tired. Remember, a tired compressor is more likely to do less effective compressions. Now let's see how this goes with two rescuers. The first rescuer goes straight to the three C's. Here she's on the third C, which is compressions. She will continue doing CPR until the AED arrives. As the AED arrives, the second rescuer prepares the AED, gets the patches out, and ready to apply. This is where communication between the two rescuers is crucial to minimize interruption in chest compressions. Here the rescuers coordinate stopping of chest compressions, removal of shirt, and applying the patches so that the rescuer can get back on chest as quickly as possible. After powering on the AED, it will begin to analyze. It will prompt you to not touch the patient. If a shock is advised, all that is needed is for you to communicate with your partner and shock the patient. It is important to start chest compressions immediately after the shock. Thank you for taking a few minutes to learn how an AED can help you save a life. Thank you for supporting Push to Survive.